Hi guys, my name is Ricardo Slew, 24 years old, and I box for Fitzroy Lodge. Uh, I have 32 fights, 25 victories, 7 losses. Um, I stopped my previous opponent in the South East final. Um, I'm looking to go into this, into this stage and do my best and come out with a victory. And uh, I'm looking to put in a performance as well. Today I feel confident, ready to go, and uh, hopefully you'll see me do the job, do the business. Hi, my name's uh, Danny Williams and I box for Hayes Amateur Boxing Club. I uh, originate from Slough. Um, I've been boxing since I was 15. Um, been in various tournaments over the past few years. Boxed for England a few times. Um, got picked for Great Britain. Um, I just can't wait to get in this ring, do the business once again. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Should be good. So the penultimate fight of the evening, the 91 kilo heavyweight division. And once again, man in Dan Williams, who's stepping through the ropes twice within the space of 24 hours. Tough against Ricardo Sloop from Fitzroy Lodge, one of four fighters on the lodge in the finals this afternoon. Three three minute rounds as always. And yesterday, Danny Williams didn't actually thought I actually think he'd won his semi-final. It was a controversial decision. He walked out the ring with his shoulders down, thinking he'd lost, and then found out he got the decision. He was really put through the mill, given a tough examination of his credentials in the semi-final around 7 p.m. last night. So recovery-wise, hadn't had all that long, really, to get back in here, but seemed in good spirits earlier. We'll see what he has to offer. Ricardo Slew in the white vest with the red gloves. Nice jab from Williams. Williams really commanding the centre of the ring in the early stages. Slew just measuring his man on the outside. Nice left and a right hand. Danny Williams, first outing in the ABAs, 20 years old. Sloop, national finalist, number of amateur wins under his belt. The experienced man of the two, and that could count for a lot. You see him just picking Dan Williams off with some nice clinical work from the outside. Nice double one-two from Sloop. It's taking a while for Williams to get to grips with the speed and explosiveness. Ricardo Slew under the tutelage of Andy Sinclair, Jim Evans, Chris McDonough. Fitzroy Lodge, notoriously a big right hand puncher, Slew. Slew, that one too, just slightly out of range. She needs to get those feet in before he throws. A bit better that time. Williams has remained quite flat-footed throughout those first three minutes. Sloot darting in and out of range, not always thrown within range, but more clinical of the work perhaps coming from him. I feel that Ricardo Sloot just dictated the tempo of this first round.
Well, looking at the two men in the corner, Slew for me looks a little bit the fresher of the two men. And perhaps a reflection of the bout that Williams had late last night. Just breathing perhaps a little bit more heavily than his opposite man. Never easy to box on consecutive days. Certainly that these and these lads won't have to do as professionals in the future. As the winner was Warren Baster last year. He did so well at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games as well last year. That's one two from Sloot. Dan Williams took it really well. And another one two from Sloot. It's just a timing issue for Williams. Found himself on the end of a couple of sharp, snappy combinations. A bit of blood on the bridge of the nose of Sloot. Nothing ostensibly got through from Williams early on. But something must have got through. So the coming together of heads has caused it. Slew just cleverly inching back, giving himself a bit of space to work, then landing another one too. Straight, short, sharp work from the shorter Fitzroy Lodge man. Williams just a little short right on the break there. Just a, a warning to Sloop, just for pushing. Again, if you are one of those boxers that likes to box at range, it can be frustrating if your work is being smothered. So something similar with Amir Khan and Lamont Peterson. In fact, you may recognise, you may have seen Peterson smothering the Bolton man and Khan warned and eventually dot points for pushing his man away. And those points became crucial as he lost on uh, a decision. To 12 rounds. The referee just having a quick word once again with Sloot. You've got to be careful. Two or three warnings, and the referee may decide to deduct points. As you saw, one of the Lodge boys earlier today proved to be costly when it went to the scorecards. But at the moment, Sloot boxing very competently indeed. Dan Williams just struggling to cope with the speed and the timing of Ricardo Slew on the outside. Good rugged work from Slew comes in, lands two or three to the body, takes one to the head in return. This is good work from the Fitzroy Lodge man. Nice head movement from Slew just to evade the oncoming hook from Williams. Big learning curve this for Dan Williams. Encounter so many different styles and shapes and sizes of opposition in this competition. Should he not go through this afternoon, I'm sure he'll come back next year better for the experience. Big round required from Dan Williams. Wearing all black with the blue gloves. Ricardo Sloot in the white vest with the red gloves. Just inching back, moving off to his left-hand side. Looking to land that big jab and then a hook off of it. And there is the left hook from Sloot. That's 
Williams sensing that he may be behind on the cards and having to press the action more than he would like to. mentioned earlier some of the names the winners of this competition in previous years Frank Bruno, Nigel Bent, Carl Froch, Tyson Fury, David Price, James DeGale to show the prize that's at the end of the competition and the platform that it can provide for a professional career place on the podium squad and of course any of the winners this afternoon or of the whole competition rather will be selected to represent their country in the Four Nations Cup. Again, another opportunity to showcase what they've got to offer. So this really is a big, big platform for amateurs to prove their worth to some of the top scouts and the top coaches in the business. And Dan Williams just launches a right out, a little bit frustrated now. He's starting to lunge with these shots, and for a man of his height, and his reach, he just seems to be not quite making that count, not getting his feet within range before he throws. And it's Ricardo Slew who looks to be more in control. Although Slew's taken a couple of decent shots in the last few seconds. Just hangs on momentarily. Phil Slew now operating in safety mode, just trying to get on his bike a little bit, keep away from any large sort of rallies that Dan Williams fancies putting together, keeping his gloves up, moving away. Slew perhaps believing he's done enough. Nice jab from the Fitzroy Lodge man, now just jabbing away, puts the right hand on the back of it, then gets on his bike. There we are, the end of the third and final round. So Ricardo Slew and Dan Williams. And we will go to the scorecards and another shake of the head from Dan Williams. Perhaps a sign that his confidence isn't where it should be. Perhaps a sign of his inexperience and a sign that he could do with believing in himself a little bit more. He was in with a very, very good opponent in Ricardo Slew this afternoon. You see some of the shots landing there. That one from Williams coming off the gloves and really the footwork and the hand speed of Slew. Perhaps the difference if he were to get the nod from the judges this afternoon. And again, Williams just walking onto jabs and hooks. London Power Day, elite champion at under 91 kilos for 2015 in the England Boxing Elite Championships 2015. In the red corner... Now the body language from Dan Williams said a lot there. It's just a little bit too far for him to fight twice in 24 hours and he was outclassed by a very, very slick opponent in Ricardo Sloot, who's now speaking to Charlie Webster. Boxers, will you stay in the ring, please? Congratulations, Ricardo. Uh, got a bit of a cut blood through the nose. What was that from? To be honest, it's either from a headbutt or a punch. <laughs> I think it might have been uh, the second round I got it. Yeah, he's coming in with his head sometimes, and obviously I was holding a bit as well to spoil him up. But yeah, that's where it's from, probably a headbutt. Were you happy with your performance? Uh, to be honest, I don't, well, not really. <laughs> when I look back at the video, I might be able to say something different, but. At the moment, I think I could have boxed a little bit better, keeping my hands up a, a bit more, uh, being a bit more aggressive with my punches, throwing a bit more combinations probably as well. But um, I'll have a look back at the tape and see what I did wrong and all right. Can you give us a bit of insight to Mark Crygate, your coach from the Fitzroy Lodge, what he was saying to you in the corner? <laughs> or should what? we not know? <laughs> uh, do you know what? Um, sometimes it's hard to recall what the trainer said in the corner because sometimes the adrenaline's going and you're sort of just in the moment but um the general gist of it was that um to keep my hands up my left hand up 
and to make sure I keep to my boxing and try not to um, get involved with him because he could punch hard. So, yeah, that was it really. Well, huge congratulations. Well done. Let you go and get cleaned up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.